what's a three brush generator and why is it important to know about it on these patches? Well, most all cars have three brush generators. The third brush controls the amount of output of the generator. It's adjustable. You can move it to increase or decrease the amperage. If you want it too high or you overcharge the battery or burn out the generator from running too high, it won't be done. All 1940 and later cars, when they went to, everybody went to seal beams, they used a two brush generator which increased the output to mostly 35 to 40 amps. The three brush generators are like 28 to 30 amps. And so do you, do you make those conversions or do you, you know, what, well, what, the, is there value? The early package was a chain driven generator. You have to use a generator that comes with it. The later, I think starting somewhere at 32, they used the, uh, the cutout also contained the voltage controller in it. So that would automatically dr drop the output of the generator as the battery became charged. It was the purpose of it. Like driving on a long trip, you, you don't want to be putting 30 or 28 or 30 amps in it the whole time. You would overcharge the battery. This, that unit reduced the charge. Automatically. Where does the uh, the the value or the um, the importance of whether it's six volt or twelve volt? How does that play in with, with the generator? Well, you you got a twelve volt generator. It goes with the system, but they didn't make twelve volt generators much for packets. They did on some export cars. Used a twelve volt generator. So it's really just the combination of the... the yeah. Or if you got a belt-driven generator, you, if you want to convert your car to 12 volt, you just put a 12 volt generator on it. And the generator regulator. Now in the restorations that you, you do here, I imagine most people want to try to keep it as well, we keep original, the original, original stuff on it, yeah. right? 